in happy or not happy Monday, depending on how much you like Mondays. I don't think I know anyone who loves Mondays. Um, I know I don't, but uh, it's a new week. Time to start over, start fresh, get more things done. Um, so I'm trying to look at it that way. Anyway, uh, I decided to actually go ahead and attempt to vlog, um, vlog my week uh, for a few reasons. One, I honestly just miss making uh, videos. If you watched my last video, uh, it was from our trip to Scotland all the way back in October. Um, I had a lot of fun putting that video together and editing it. Um, and honestly, I just miss doing it. And right now I'm not traveling uh, very much, so I can't really just film a video on our travels uh, because if I'm be quite honest, uh, I'm just working. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know if you guys will find this interesting. Uh, hopefully you do. Um, since the last video I posted, um, quite a bit has happened. So uh, differences from the last time you've seen me, I cut my hair. Uh, I also am pregnant. So we are having our first baby this October and that's half the reason um, I haven't really been up too much is just I had a, like honestly I had a really rough first trimester we can talk about that another time um, but I thought it might be nice to kind of look back on some of these videos uh, once the baby's here just kind of capturing my last last days as I mean technically I'm a mom but not really kind of I don't know um, I guess my last days without uh, having a baby or kids. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you through this week and uh, I don't think I have a ton planned. Mostly this week's going to be a lot of like me working, um, renovating the house because we're trying to get the house ready before the baby gets here. And I might be taking off Friday to extend my weekend into a four day weekend. So I may or may not plan something fun for the weekend. I'm kind of itching to go to the beach. But we will see, because I also have been tired and want to just take it easy as well. Um, so yeah, I'll walk you through uh, what my week looks like. Okay, so since it's Monday morning and I'm just getting back into the swing of things, usually we have meetings every single morning with my team. Um, so I already had that meeting. And then what I will usually do is either before that meeting or after that meeting, um, depending on how many Slack messages I have to catch up on and emails, I'll usually then sit down and start writing in my handy dandy agenda. Um, I'll, I'll essentially start writing what I need to get done for the week uh, at work and personally. Um, so I don't know if you've heard of Golden Coil. Um, this is essentially the planner I use. I can probably do another video outlining my like how I organize it, but I've been using this planner for or this like line of planners for three years now. I started using them in 2020 and honestly they've been so so helpful. I tried to like stray away from them maybe like six months or a year ago and like buy like a cheaper planner because I was like I don't need to spend that much money on them and honestly Nothing does it for me the same as uh, this planner uh, does. Mainly, like, the main draw for me with this is you get to customize the layout. You don't get, like, super um, flexible customization options, but, like, they have so many different layouts that you can choose, and then you can choose, um, essentially, which order you want those layouts in. So, for me, it just works better because I'm able to personalize this planner to kind of match um, the needs that I have, which are essentially like organizing myself at work and then organizing myself um, in my personal life. I did try to use Notion to substitute having a planner. While I do like it, I just, it just doesn't stick for me as well as like writing down on pen and paper. So yeah, I am a paper planner girl. I want to be a digital planner, but there are just certain things I like to do on paper and this is one of them um 
yeah, so I have two sides. I have one side here, another side here. This is essentially like for my whole week. Um, there's like two different sides. I'll create a video if anyone's interested in how I organize it, but essentially one side I keep for work, the other side I keep for my personal life. Um, and I'll just kind of like go through on Mondays and outline, um, you know, what I have to do for the week, what my priorities are, what my goals are. Um, so a lot of it, uh, some of it's even habit uh, based. There's a little, let me show you right in here. There's a little habit tracker. Um, so I usually will fill that out. I'll think about what it is I want to do for the week. Um, a lot of times, honestly, lately, it's been kind of the same thing over and over again for me. I've been doing a lot of go for a walk, um, take your prenatal vitamin, read a book, knit. That's also something I've been super into lately. Um, I know it's not like a cool hobby, but I have been loving knitting. Uh, yeah, so I'll just go through and kind of plan for the week. And then once I'm done planning for the week, I'll jump into my work. Okay, so I finished planning for the week. I'm only showing the personal side of this just because I don't want to show anything um, work sensitive, uh, mainly for my company's privacy. And then I made myself a green tea latte, um, mainly because I am absolutely exhausted today. I not feeling energized and I have a lot of work to do so I'm hoping that this gives me some life. All right now that I'm all planned for the week I am just going to start preparing for a meeting I have in five minutes and then I'm going to spend probably the rest of the afternoon in meetings and yeah I have lots of uh, documents I need to work on for work uh, so it's just going to be a lot of me typing and maybe stretching my legs here and there, but otherwise that is kind of what my work day mostly looks like. Just made myself some lunch, so I'm being bad and eating it at my desk. <laughs> we just got a uh, Peloton bike. We're renting one. We're mainly gonna test out to see whether or not um, this is something that we use regularly. Um, that's why we chose the renting option because it's actually the same price to rent the bike as it is um, for us to actually pay for our gym membership. So we're going to test this out, especially because uh, once the baby's here, it's going to be harder for us to find time to go to the gym or find someone to watch the baby if one of us wants to um, go to the gym while the other one's at work or vice versa. Um, it just seems like it'll be an easier solution for us so we're gonna give it a try and then the other cool thing about when you rent these bikes is you can return them um, they'll just pick it up and you can cancel it at any time so that's kind of why we're trying it out so now I'm just setting this up which is very exciting are you gonna start working out right now yeah with yeah. your uncrustable ah! hand shut up <laughs> don't judge me mm. <laughs> Hard at work. He's so cute. I know every dog owner thinks their dog is the cutest, but um, I too think my dog is the cutest. My dogs, I have two of them. This is Winston. He's gonna be six years old in November. Becoming an old man, Winnie. He's my uh, lover dog, so he always wants all the attention and pets. And then this guy over here is my troublemaker. He likes to get into all the troubles. And he's becoming more cuddly, but he used to not be cuddly. He used to just want to misbehave and cause some ruckus. But this is Theodore. We call him Theo. And he just turned two. I want to show you guys is this is like, I feel like when you see YouTube videos and Instagrams, and people who are influencers, everything looks so pristine. Um, this is just like a look into like a normal person's life. life. Um, since we are having a baby, we've been collecting a bunch of baby items and we don't have anywhere to put it yet because our nursery area is actually currently Ian's office. 
And then we're moving Ian's office to the basement, but we have to redo some of the basement. So for now, we just are just in this chronic like loading state of... Can I help you? You're not, you want to be the star of the show? What, what, what Winnie? He's mad that he's not getting attention. Okay, come on. Um, yeah, so I have all this stuff here. It kind of feels a little stressful because I don't like clutter. And this is very cluttery. And then if you're looking here and you see the suitcase, it's actually filled with baby stuff. Um, so no, we didn't just go on a trip and leave like a suitcase out because we're lazy, um, which is something that I probably would do. But <laughs> it's actually just filled with like baby clothes, diapers, um, and random stuff like that. So yeah, we've just been living in a state of chaos for the past month or two. So I didn't film at all yesterday, mainly because, um, well, it started pouring rain uh, and when I was trying to leave work, so I was honestly just trying to survive. I found an umbrella because I didn't bring a raincoat to work and I have a 20 minute or so walk from my office to the train station. Um, so yeah, yesterday I just kind of wanted to go home and go to bed. Um, Ian's very excited to be taking me to work this morning. Maybe. Uh, anyway, um, now I'm on my way to work again. I used to only go in once a week, but now um, my company wants us to start going in twice a week, which some people are doing and some people are not. Um, but today I'm going to try to go in because I didn't go in last week, twice a week. Um, but yeah, otherwise... Uh, just trying to get to work. Hopefully I don't miss the train. I tend to run late in the morning, <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> uh, this is not a new thing. I, I'd like to think it is a new thing, like that I'm a very um, on time morning person, but I am just not. Um, I've tried to deny it. My whole family has like put me in my place and they're like, you are not. Uh, so Ian's trying to quickly drive me to the train station. And if I have time, which I probably won't, well, you never know, I might get a matcha latte this morning. Well, yesterday the train was on time. Yeah, I actually showed up like right on the dot. Sometimes the train's late, but um, usually if I'm running late, the train's on time or even early. Uh, so since I'm running late this morning, I think it's going to be on time. We'll see. But... If I have time, I'll get a matcha. I like to treat myself before I go to work since I don't really want to go in. Um, I'd rather work from home. Also, one fun thing about pregnancy is like, none of your clothes fit you and you have to get a bunch of new clothes and it's hard because you don't want to spend, a, or at least I don't want to spend a lot of money on pregnancy clothes, only to wear them for a couple months and then like maybe never again. So I am like literally, <laughs> I am not wearing a cute outfit. I'm wearing a strawberry t-shirt I got from Costco. I think the t-shirt was five dollars. Um, yeah, so I think that's one thing that people I don't think talk that much about. Uh, it's hard not to feel 
uh, frumpy or not cute when you're pregnant because um, the outfits you wear uh, are always cute. Anyway, that's all on pregnancy. So I just got home from work and I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat my dinner on the couch, mainly because uh, our kitchen table is a baby loading zone and I really need to move things off the table and just haven't had the energy to. Um, plus there's just like, we don't really have anywhere to put all the baby stuff. I guess we could put it all in the basement, but then we have to bring it all back up. So I'm just leaving it where it is. Um, but yeah, I didn't film too much uh, during the workday, but I did actually go and um, go to like a food market for lunch with one of my coworkers and tried out this um, Colombian Polish fusion place, which was pretty good. However, I spent like, it was like $15 before tip um, on like five little pierogi things that really were not that filling. Um, so I don't know if I'll be going back there, but it, it was fun to try. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I don't like about going to the office is I end up spending more money on lunch instead of just like cooking myself food, which I guess I could bring in lunch, but a lot of my coworkers go out and it's kind of a social event, so it is what it is. <laughs> So now that I'm done painting, I'm just going to take it easy and probably just like lay in bed, knit, watch some TV. Uh, today's been like a really long day for me, just like from being on the go all day at work and then commuting and then painting and cooking dinner. Um, well, and I guess also being pregnant. <laughs> I'm just feeling very, very tired. So um, nothing too exciting to watch uh, today or probably most of this week, but I'm just going to take it easy. Good morning. Um, I took today off and I was planning on spending my morning just like relaxing, laying in bed. Um, but the vet called me. I had an appointment scheduled for 2 p.m. with Theo. Um, and I guess the tech that they have had a family emergency come up, so she needs to leave early today. Um, long story short, they want me to come in and bring Theo in now. So I'm going to go run to the vet bring Theo in and then maybe pick up some coffee. Yeah, happy Friday. All right, so I just finished um, taking Theo to the vet. You can see Theo in the corner there. Let's see if I can see one of them. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, so just took Theo to the vet. He was feeling good. Got his nails trimmed, which is great. And he's feeling all fresh. Now I'm just going to drive home and I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but I think I'm going to try to take it easy. Maybe I'll knit. We'll see. So I just was working on cleaning my room, essentially taking all of the clothes that don't fit me anymore, which is like all my clothes, and putting them into bins to put them in the basement because I have a really tiny closet. Our house was built in like the 1920s, uh, and they didn't really need the closet space that people need today. Um, so there's just no point in me like leaving a bunch of clothes that don't fit me in a tiny closet. Um, so yeah, now I'm about to meet up with one of my friends. I'm running late, so I'm gonna hurry up and meet up with her. We're just gonna, like, walk around. Um, now that, like, I'm pregnant, uh, it's been nice because, like, I already went on walks a lot with my friends, but now, um, they all know that I am always itching to go on a walk, uh, because it's a good way for me to get movement in as a, as I'm pregnant, so I'm gonna go for a nice evening stroll. Hello and happy Saturday. I have an extended weekend this weekend. So it's nice knowing that Sunday tomorrow is not really Sunday, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, Ian's at playing in a tournament right now. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting for his tournament to end. It usually takes like four, four and a half hours. Um, and I got a call from the camera shop saying that, uh, the second roll of film I dropped off actually turned out, so I'm so, so happy right now that, um, my film wasn't completely destroyed, or I didn't lose everything from Hawaii. The only bummer is, like, I'm just, like, looking at the photos. Um, the only bummer is there aren't that many photos in here from Hawaii, so, like, I can show a few of the photos. Maybe I might scan them in, um, but essentially, like, this is one of the photos. I got a few blurry photos. Um, my gosh, this hotel in Hawaii was so, so pretty. It was all pink. It was called the Royal Hawaiian. I really, really loved that hotel. We didn't stay there, um, but after, like, walking inside of it and, like, looking at it from the outside and the inside, I was like, okay, we should try to stay there one day because that would be so, so cool. But um, yeah, just uh, got a few of the photos. I'm not like super in love with how they turned out. I don't know. I'm gonna keep practicing and playing with the camera, but I wasn't like super in love with the photos, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm happy that they turned out. Now I'm probably gonna drive back to where Ian is, kind of. I'm thinking about going to, there's this really cool yarn store about 20 minutes away from where Ian is um, playing right now. So I might go over there and knit a bit. I've been working on um, a car seat baby blanket. Um, so I'll show you guys what that looks like um, probably in the next few minutes. But yeah, I think I might do that. Try again Come 
try again. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a good workout. I look like a wreck. I'm trying not to care too much about metrics. Usually I get really into it. Um, but considering that I'm pregnant, I'm trying to just get in a workout more so than set records. Um, so yeah, it gives you the leaderboard score, um, which I guess like I'm towards the bottom, but not bad for being pregnant, I guess. I don't know. Um, what else is interesting? Did about four miles. Just shy of 200 calories, which I don't even count calories. So I don't even know what that. I guess I don't really care, but it's still nice to know. Um, my heart rate throughout. My heart rate started to go up during this workout because I chose a um, like a not a prenatal workout to do. I just did a regular one. Whew, I'm out of breath. Um, and I had to slow down a few times because I saw my heart rate going a bit higher. And I know. Um, you're not supposed to like totally crush yourself on workouts. I guess I hit 192. I don't remember seeing that on the screen. So that's a little higher than I probably would want. Um, or maybe that's what they're guessing my highest heart rate would be because it looks like I spent most of the time in this range. I try to keep myself like, yeah, pretty much in that range, like 140 to 150. Once I would hit 160, I tried to bring it back down. Um, more data. Can you guys tell I like data? Uh, kind of seeing how my output was. Resistance, speed. Yeah. So far, really liking the Peloton. It's actually really fun. Um, and it keeps me motivated just because each workout's a bit different. <laughs> so yeah, I'm all sweaty. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower and get myself ready for the day. So nice way to start the day. Oh, the other thing is, um, the first time I rode, uh, my butt hurt so, so, so bad. Um, this time it actually didn't hurt. So I think maybe like I did change the way my seat was adjusted, so that might have helped. I don't know if I'm just used to it already after one ride. That seems a bit ridiculous, but i um, happy that I wasn't in as much pain because the first time my butt hurt so bad. All right, happy Sunday. Hey. Where are we going? I know we have the little Video. Portillo's for those who are in Chicago or Illinois area. You know what you know what it is. Or Arizona. Or Arizona. Arizona has all the chains. But um mm -hmm. my hair is like awkwardly like blowing on <laughs> this side right now. Um but yeah, we're going to a Swedish summer festival. I think it I don't know if this is the midsummer festival that they usually have or not essentially we were looking for something fun to do today um, and after some Google searching I found this Swedish festival and I love everything Scandinavian Ian knows the last time we went to a Scandinavian festival was when we lived in Portland yeah so I'm really excited um, 2018 was it yeah, yeah maybe it was in 2018 um, and we had so much fun. It was a Scandinavian, not Swedish festivals. They had all the Scandinavian, I think they had all the Scandinavian countries represented there. If not all of them, most of them. <laughs> um, I think there was like a stronger Norwegian influence at the other festival we went to. This one's just Swedish. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited to go. Uh, one of the things that we're hoping to do more of is, we were just talking about this this morning, but like when we lived in California and Oregon, we used to kind of explore more and check out events in the area. This is like bothering me, but um, <laughs> we would do that. Like in California, remember we'd go to the beach or did you come to the farmer's market with me? Or did and I just go with friends? California? Yeah. I think you drugged me once or twice. Yeah, we might've gone together once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, I think I mostly went with my friends but uh, there was always something we were up to. We were either going to SF or going uh, and getting swirls out of Keys. <laughs> that was fun. I uh, kind of missed that place, although I don't think the swirls were as good as I remember them being. And then Portland was just like, we were always trying out new neighborhoods, new breweries, hikes, driving to like really cute towns like Astoria. Um, if you, 
are in Oregon and you want to go to a really cute town, go to Astoria, especially if you like thrifting. Yeah. We still have to drag your mom there. And the Goonies. And the Goonies. I think part part of the Goonies was filmed there. Like I don't the, think they filmed the whole thing Everything there. filmed on location was filmed in uh, okay. Astoria. The yeah. house is a real house there. Yeah, but the owner, I think, put up stuff so you can't take it. pictures. Oh, did they sell I think it? They sold it to someone. I remember else reading there. that, like, the owner of the Goonies house was, like, really anti people coming and taking pictures of the house, which I, like, both understand and also I'm like, you, you bought, bought the Goonies, Goonies house. house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? So they put, like, fences and then stuff so that, like, if you took a picture, it'd ruin the picture. Like, yeah. it was, like, screens or something. Um, I don't know if they still live there or not. Anyways. Anyway, we're going to hit the road, um, but all this to say, since moving to Illinois, we haven't, I don't know if it's because we moved right when the pandemic started, like, we moved in November of 2019. So then it was winter. So it was winter. And then spring came. Yeah, and I started a new job, and you then, started a new yeah, job. Yeah, and then spring came and they said stay inside for Yeah, and I think years. we just, like, got used to staying inside, so... My goal is to start traveling more in this area and exploring new towns and also just like going to more events because I used to always be looking up what was happening. Um, I'm sure the baby's going to throw that off for us in a few months, but I want to like do that more now that like I'm realizing we don't do it anymore. Anyway, yep. we're going to hit the road. Bye. We got the Swedish meatball plate. One little girl with a golden hair, dancing there in the square. One little man is in the air. Sweet and then we got lingonberry lemonades. Looks good. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best beware. And though it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop, no, no more. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. Anyway, today we're just running errands. We both have the day off. So we're just kind of using it to, essentially, like, it feels like it's our Sunday. We always run errands on Sunday. So. I got about six loads of laundry to do. Yeah, and I got some ironing and folding, and I think at this point I have another load of laundry to do. Get in line. Yeah, I'll get in line. Um, but yeah, so today I got new shoes. We went to DSW. Um, I just haven't bought a new pair of shoes in like, maybe, it's been over a year, right? I don't remember the last time I bought shoes. Long time. Yeah, I don't really buy shoes very often. So I kind of like, I have this bad habit where <laughs> I get made fun of for this. I will find a pair of shoes I really like and I will wear them every single day for like months on end, if not years on end. And I've been doing that with a pair of shoes I got two years ago and they're pretty gross and that I wear them to work all the time. Those are my, uh, what are they called again? The Nike Air Force, Air Force. ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wear my Air Forces like every day and I'm like, okay, it's time to get a new pair of shoes. So I got a new pair of shoes. Never thought I would be a Skechers girl. The last time I wore Skechers was when I was, I think, eight years old. I think they might have, were they light up shoes? I don't know. They did make those. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I remember they were like blue and black and I think there were sparkles on them. They sound like Skechers. <laughs> I never thought I would wear Skechers again. But I found some pretty cute shoes. Um, so I'm very excited about them. Oh. At DSW, there were these like cowboy boots that were super sparkly, and honestly, I didn't I didn't buy them because when would I ever wear them? They're just not practical for me. But I feel like if you're you liked those, I liked them. I, oh my god! I mean, I would never wear them, but like I kind of thought they were cool. I thought you were making fun of them. No, I mean a little bit. I was making fun of them in the sense that they were very over the top, but like I secretly kind of liked them. I think if you're a huge Taylor Swift fan and you're going to her concert, I think those shoes would be perfect for her concert. 
Um, I also thought that like a lot of people, at least in the Midwest, I think even some people on the West Coast go to Nashville for their uh, bachelorette party. All over. It's the number one. Is that like, yeah. It Definitely in the Midwest. Nice. Like everyone that I went to like high school with, they seem to always go to Nashville for their yeah. bachelorette party. I think it's everywhere. You don't get to be number one. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like those would be really good shoes to wear if you were on your bachelorette party, like you were going on a bachelorette party and you're in Nashville or even like, no, I feel like just Nashville would be kind of cool to wear them. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure when you would wear them ever again. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should just embrace your inner cowgirl and <laughs> wear sparkly glam shoes. Like, glam I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If I saw someone in sparkly cowboy boots, I'd be like, go you. Um, I don't know if I would be able to pull it off, but I would love to be able to pull it off. Yeah, so now we are at Target and we are going to pick up a few things and then go to the grocery store. And honestly, that's gonna be pretty much it for the day. I don't think I'm gonna have much else to show you guys. We're gonna spend the rest of the day cleaning and doing laundry. So I'll probably end the vlog shortly after that. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now cause I love you.